So, after spending your hard-earned tax refund on that sweet gaming rig you've been dreaming about, you probably want to keep that bad boy in tip-top shape. What is going on guys? I am AJ and today we are going to be covering six different tips to keep your PC in good shape. So stick around and let's discuss this. Let's face it, PC parts are not exactly cheap. Even most budget builds can cost several hundred bucks. Easily replacing several parts or the entire unit is out of reach for a lot of people. Regular maintenance and a bit of common sense will go a long way. Number one, cleaning your PC regularly. While it's no surprise that most stationary things will collect dust, dirt, and hair over time, anything with an intake fan will hasten the process. Not keeping up with it can not only result in a gnarly looking mess of a machine, but you may negatively affect your PC's thermal performance. Compressed air and electric dusters are your best friends. As far as how often you should clean your PC, it depends on the environment. Someone who has their setup in an area that's carpeted or has pets will probably have to clean their PC more than someone who doesn't. Number two, keeping your PC's intakes and exhausts clear of all obstructions. Decreased airflow will increase temperatures, which will also result in decreased performance. While this applies to all PCs with active cooling, I would advise those of you who have things like their HTPCs neatly tucked away in any furniture to make sure that the area surrounding your intake and exhaust fans are clear during use. And special caution for those of you who like to keep your machine close to or on the floor, especially if it's carpeted. Seriously, this one drives me up the wall. But if you don't have a choice, at least put something in between your PC and the floor so your power supply can breathe. Number three, monitoring your thermals. Obviously not with this, this is just a visual aid. Don't actually use this. As it is commonly known, too much heat is not a good thing. Not only will you lose performance due to thermal throttling, but components that run too hot too often will have a shorter lifespan. If, for example, your heatsink isn't making proper contact, or you have a defective fan on your GPU, keeping an eye on your temps will better alert you and allow the chance to rectify the issues in a prompt manner. Number 4. Investing in a UPS I would show you mine, but it's way too big and heavy. That did not come out right. A UPS or uninterruptible power supply is a battery backup that temporarily keeps your PC powered and surge protected in the event of an external power failure allowing you to save whatever you're doing while providing the chances to shut down your system properly. A sudden loss of power or a surge can cause damage to both hard drives and SSDs, resulting in data loss and corruption. Having a battery backup can help mitigate this issue and is well worth it in my opinion. Number 5. Packing your PC properly during transportation whether you're transporting your rig down the road or across the country, it is imperative that you use the right type and amount of packing material to ensure its integrity. Personally, I make sure to keep the box and packing foam that the case came in to house the whole unit. And while I remove and pack the GPU separately, I still use Instapack foam for the internals. For anything with tempered glass panels, I highly suggest using bubble wrap. I've seen people use things like towels and blankets to wrap up their PCs, and while it'll help in a pinch, if you have the means to do so, please use the proper materials. For those of you who have custom water cooling loops and are traveling long distances, I highly suggest draining your loop. If not, do your best to keep your system upright, as I'm sure I don't have to tell you what would happen if you don't. The last one on this list might seem insultingly obvious, but I have to mention it anyway. And that is number six, keeping your setup clear of food and beverages. Despite this being common sense, I see the opposite more often than I'd like to admit. Look, I get it. It's easier having your plate and or drink right on your desk, especially when all you want to do is kick back and game. But the instant your fingers decide to momentarily cease your grip on that cup of coffee, or if you suddenly lose all sense of spatial awareness and knock over your plate of food, all you'll be left with is a mess and a strong desire to question all your life decisions. Let me know which tips I forgot and I'll see you guys in the comments.